Good morning guys. So it's Sunday morning, day two of our show. It's not our show, but our turn in the show, if you know what I mean. So we're here in the NEC car park and we're just getting ready to make our way over to the NEC and check out some more of the show. Richard. I'm Debbie. And we are Rich Biz Life Adventures. I've been through heartaches, I've been to heaven I've done my best and my worst, learned my lessons No matter how hard my life would treat me I'd always get right back up, never worry Cause I got a million reasons to keep holding on Yeah, I got all that it takes to win and overcome So, yesterday we went and brought a membership for the Caravan and Mart Home Club. Uh, they did a little bit of a show offer, and the show offer was that you got two free nights at any one of their sites, not a CL site. Uh, and you're not allowed to use them two days consecutively. But the way I figured is, average price of a campsite is anywhere between 20 and 35 pound a night. So that's pretty much our money back. So that's a good deal. So we got, took out membership for that, which we're well chuffed about. And uh, we're gonna see what other bargains we can get today. Here we are, day two. In the, in the show, we're a little bit early in there because um, press ticket holders can come in from nine o'clock. Uh, not many stalls in that open, they're still sort of setting up. But we thought we'd have a quick cheeky look around again before the masses come, as you saw yesterday. It gets rid of it, yeah, yeah. So we're going to go and have a mooch around some of the vehicles um, and just see what we can see. But I think we've come into the tent section. So we're going to try and go back over. I think it's all five. Might have like the van conversions. Yep. Your awnings, your tents, your chairs, and so on. So the show is officially closed and they've just announced it's 35 minutes until opening. This is what we saw yesterday. You got that massive tent and we thought that was all one piece but that's just an event shelter but they've made it so that bit there is the same shape as a tent. So although it's not an official go with it, it could. So if there's three of you with the same tent, you could all have one, two, three and then have this as your entrance and have that as a communal area between three families. I think that's a great idea. Really good. And it looks pretty well built. I mean, you got another little communal area there, a little section. 1,520 pounds. And it's, it feels really thick canvas. It's not a thin, cheap one, it's really good. Nice big rib. It's a bit like Urban Monkeys. Don't know if it's the same brand or not. Looks well built though. They look quite good kayaks. They look really stable, don't they? Solid for an it's air. It's made one. from paddleboard material. Yeah. So drop stitch. Very, very strong. Yeah. Very, very quick, very light and very stable in the water. Yeah, yeah, it looks absolutely solid. I've but seen a lot of the cheaper ones oh, where they just oh, fold yeah, they're, 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 get yeah. in it. Or, original ones made out of lilo material with a bit of cloth around it are yeah. terrible. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they just don't work. They're a kid's toy. Yeah. These will outperform most hard kayaks. Yeah, yeah. And and what's the, what's the average weight of one of those? 14 kilos. So you pick it up, you, you feel how light it is. It's very, very light. Wow. And it all goes down into a bag. It's crazy, isn't Super it? Super strong. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, they work incredibly well. We're getting amazing reviews, both professional and all the customers that are buying them. Yeah, yeah. I how quick they are. And is that a similar sort of weight? Uh, yeah, it, it's a little bit more of the double, and that's a, a flat floor version. We do yeah. both of them. They both come in a single and a double with a V shape or the flat floor. Right. The flat floor, you get more space in it for dogs, children, whatever as well. These ones will work really well in rough sea or even rapids. Right. So, um, you know, you have a choice of. And what's the name? It's Sam, Sam Bank Style. Yeah, Sam Bank Style's the name of the company down by yeah. Pool Harbour. Right, okay, Sam lovely. Bank. And people can find you on 
socials. Yeah, yeah, you can find us on social media. Um, but there's a special price for the show. Yeah. But we honour that price for a week after by telephone. Not right. on the internet. The internet's a higher price. But yeah. the show price we offer to people for a week after. So they can go and look at the reviews, see what people say. Yeah, but I mean, it seems a pretty good price there. I mean, yeah, I don't know what you normally retail them at. 200 more. So this 200 is normally more. 749. Yeah. That one, the double normally 849. But it's the lowest price we've ever had them at. We've only had this technology for the last two years. We're selling lots. Yeah, I've yeah. been on the boards. We're a famous brand. We sell like 20,000 boards as our peak year. Yeah, yeah. So we have a very, very good reputation for the boards. Like these work incredibly well. Yeah. Well, we sold, we sold loads like every day of the show. We've been selling so many. That's absolutely solid. It feels yeah. like. I mean, you know, it's the same stuff as a paddleboard, nearly a different paddleboard. You can put a bar in each end yeah. and put three people standing in the middle and it bends only a centimetre. It's crazy, I mean, it's isn't it? really strong stuff. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. It's beautiful. Even the way that this, this pod that so it ends up flush. Great attention to detail there. Even so much that, so that when you put your foot in, you've still got somewhere to put your foot. It's great. What a vehicle. <clears throat> now, if you ask anybody who's been here, if you ask them about, did you see the red van? This is the red van. Look at that. Look at that. Look, even the front bumper, look. That is crazy. Absolutely crazy. What a unit. Yeah, I know. It's amazing, isn't it? Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that. The way they've rounded off all the cupboards and things like that. Thank you. Right, the, the floor in. Look at that. See, look. You got somewhere to keep your ladder to get in and out of bed. Keeps it all nice and clean. That'll be entrance to your garage. All nice system. Sound system back here as well. A little TV. That is such good quality, isn't it? Cupboards are a little small, but look. Just feels so good. Stick our nose in the bathroom for you. Oh, auto lights. Little vanity sink. Just love the lights at the bottom. What an ambience that gives it. Good price. Even got little security cameras on it. That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. So the, the gentleman here has just pointed out the fact that the roof is raised so that when you're in bed, you actually get a higher clearance. Because at first I thought it was a, a pop top. Can you just see? the top of it there and it's the raised roof but it doesn't look intrusive at all so this is the the dune model a little bit a little bit cheaper but it is the shorter one now that doesn't mean it's a lesser quality that basically just means it's a bit more compact but you get the same thing you get a kitchen you get a bathroom you get a bedroom and you get your dining lounge area I just asked the gentleman as well what these coordinates for and it's to their head office. Again, another great unit. 
So that's the Instagram, Cactus Vans. So are these vans both in standard form at the moment? There's no optional extras fully loaded, so that's with any options that you can get. Right, okay. They've all got the base but it's still the same interior. Yeah. Um, the exterior is another wheel arch and front bumper, it's a standard front bumper, it's got suspension four wheels, they still have the graphics and they yeah. still pretty much the same. Yeah. It's more like, that's the, the more standard version. Right, okay. But this has got the 100mm lift kit. Yeah. Um, so and that, that price, is that for that, in that form? No, it's 100, they're 180. That was right. 100. Okay. Like they're from. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This got things like the CCTV, the Wi Fi, the wheel rack, the black box, all the parts. Yeah. So I'm going to go and take a picture of the back wheel. <laughs> Incredible, isn't it? Here we go, look at this unit that you'd expect it to be jet, but it's not, it's actually a prop engine. Z leg on the back. It's a great bit of kit. Look at this little board look. Obviously a little sort of electric diver, swimmer, I don't know what you'd call it. It just propels you along in the water. <laughs> now that's a party boat, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty good. It's not as expensive as I How much is it then? That's all right, isn't it? For a brand brand new boat these days, eighty five thousand. You got a brand new engine, brand new boat. I don't think that's that bad. No. No, that is a good price. Should we get it, Deb? So it's now open to the general public, it's just gone 10 o'clock. It's filling up fast. It is. So what have we bought, Deb? Some stools. We bought some of them little round pop-up stools. Uh, and we've bought those ready for when we go to the TT uh, in May. Uh, we just figured they're handy just to pop in our backpacks. And we haven't got a carrier chair around with us really. Okay. No. So don't really know what we're looking for today if we're looking for anything really now uh, did most of it yesterday but um, we'll probably have a bit more of a look around the motorhomes for you guys as opposed to the van conversions so I'll just turn you around now because that's about where we've got to now that's nice sort of a semi van conversion semi motorhome but it, it's not got the flare on it, so you're not much wider than a standard van. Let's see if we can stick our head inside for you. <laughs> now that still feels quite wide, doesn't it? I don't know if that's coming across on camera how wide it is. Deb. Deb. So you've got a drop down bed. Nice drop down bed. That would obviously convert into a bed, so that's four people. Um, it's 
suppose this is storage and garage area. It's quite nice. Oh wow, look at that fridge, it's massive. Fridge, freezer. Uh, I don't know if that's an extra freezer down the bottom there. Thetford oven. Shower room. Well, how does that toilet work then? Oh, I see. That swivels out. What a great idea. Exposes your toilet. That's fantastic. I love that idea. <laughs> she warned them in there, look. There you go, Deb's three and a half ton. It's quite a size as well. Look at that garage space. You get a motorbike in there. That's a garage space, isn't it? So wow. Three and a half I know, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's amazing. I don't know what sort of payload that gives you, though. Does it say on the back, Deb? No, it just, no. It just had it going off the sticker. 72,000 on the road. That's a good price. This is a three and a half ton chassis again. That's a great price, that is, isn't it? Just smell that, Deb. All that new van smell. So you've got a U-shaped lounge at the back, which would obviously convert into a, a large bed as well. Nice, light, airy feeling. You've got a drop-down bed here as well. So that'll give you four people there. And you got a slide out TV, fridge freezer. Looks like you got another drop down bed there. So that's six people. And more than likely that converts either into a single or maybe even a, a cheeky double. So potentially it's a seven or an eight berth. More than likely if I look on here, this is four berth. Or maybe that don't convert into a bed then. But you've got these two drop down beds. We'll stick our nose in the bathroom for you. Wow. That's a size, isn't it? And not a sticker to be seen over the screw holes. What brand is this, Debbie? Bur Burma, Burma. Yeah, it's great for socialising, isn't it? It's in the bed drops down. Yeah, and at the front here. Yeah. I mean, it says it's a four berth, but I reckon you could cheekily squeeze six people in here, maybe even seven. Yeah, but if it would be more for the driving thing, is Yeah. But, yeah, the seat belt type. Quite easily, like you said, you could sit around there and you could sit around the back. What sort of garage area has it got? Not, not massive, but considering it's a U shaped lounge, you're always going to have a limited garage with a rear lounge. But you've got Look, you can push stuff in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So you can still get a couple of fold-up bikes in there and you've got an entrance to it there and you've also got a larger entrance there. So you'll get two fold-up bikes in there. This is that one with the household garage size in the rear. So you've got a front dinette, again, drop down bed, 
you've also got a fixed raised bed either have it as two singles or one large double because that section there will pull out and then you drop that in then you've got a separate toilet and then separate shower which is nice and then you section it off to form like an ensuite I suppose <laughs> that's a nice little touch even the hooks are the the brand's logo I love that little touch it's great you got microwave fridge freezer three ring burner one of them which is electric which is good for when you're electric hookup not a bad size sink extractor fan BBC, am I? Oh, it depends how good I get. <laughs> if I get big enough. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So, um, batteries in the seat post. Right. You've actually got one that's unplugged here, so it's just a little push clip underneath that you can unplug. Yeah. And then you can pull out. Wow. And you can charge your battery via the port overnight and inside, should you wish to. And how long from empty to full? Empty to full for about five hours. Yeah. Um, we normally require about three to five hours. So if you've been out on a 10k ride, yeah. then it's not going to take that long. Yeah. The charging port will help you as well. The charging box, uh, it goes from red to green when, yeah. it's, when it's fully charged. And what sort of amp hour is that? Uh, amp hour, that's 250 watts. Uh, that would be your motor size of 250 watts, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. No, it's fine. I like the fact they fold. Uh, yeah. Because all I'm thinking. Uh, when we when we was talking about electric. 7.2. 7.2, yeah. But uh, these would charge overnight. Yeah. We're going to the Isle of Man TT. Lovely. And we're looking at getting some bikes so we can leave our camper van. Yeah. And we can then take it and we can bike to where we're going. Because getting round the island is a little bit tricky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah
See, I still think probably a bigger one. What, like the four? Uh, what, yeah. yeah. How much is that one? Yeah. Fifty-three. It's not too bad, though, is it? No. I think they'd use it quite a bit. And the fact the handles come off a bit like our tea fowl. I think, I think I'd use that more than I would one of these. Yeah. Do you get all them accessories in it as well? What, in this one? Yeah. Yeah, so you get cheese grater. You get your little monkey spatula. <laughs> and then this is for your handles. Obviously, you don't want to scratch your handles. No, no. And then this one's got the gridlock on one side flat. Do you get like a carry bag for those as well? Don't, right, okay. Yeah. These ones are the same, so you have to come off hands. Yeah. And then these come with again another little bag so that you don't have to stick. Then got that one on the end, which is the seam. Have you seen that one? No. Well. Check it, it's got a section to put in water in, is it? Then got the steamer, making absolute carnage over it. So again, this opens up, you've got a separator in here. So yeah. if you want to do fry up something, you've got this section here for steaming, so you fill that with water. Chuck your fish, veg, whatever on there, close that, and then you've got your steam function. These ones do come apart as well, so you can still use them separately. And then you can live in again another little bag as well, so you don't scratch your non stick in there. Yeah. yeah. That's a puzzle now. Which one would you go for? <laughs> Which one do you fancy? This one's the only one that doesn't sit up, so all of them sit, sit up. These ones don't, so you have to have these at. 110, there we go, 190. I was saying it wrong all week. I've been listening to you. I know, sorry. Gaslighting. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's wrong. Probably that one would be better, wouldn't it, I think. Oh, yeah. Dude, they've got these as well, so these don't come with the same little ones as their yeah. ones, but you've got these. So these ones fold in half, pop in a little bag. They're £10 with any pad as well. So you're taking, taking £3 off of the purchase of the pad. So what, you get the whole set for £10? £10, yeah. and then whatever pad you fancy. That's really good. Yeah, you can flip it as well. So we're doing the toast at 8 in the morning. So we're all finished for the caravan camping and motorhome show. Um, we are heading home now. Um, hope you've enjoyed the weekend as much as we had. And we've had a great time at the pub stopover with the other YouTubers that were there. Um, so anyway, we're gonna sign off now and hopefully we'll see you again soon, maybe next week. So if you like what you've seen, please like, subscribe and comment. And if you really feel like it, click that little bell icon and you'll get still our future videos. And on that note, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.